No way. Following the adoption of Christianity by King Olaf Tryggvason in 994, the Norwegian kingdom began to grow. Almost 1,200 years later, there are about 5.7 million humans located in Norway. In, 20, in 2014, the Norwegian country was ranked number one in the world for the wealth and well-being of the people. In this presentation, we will be de delving into the intricacies of Norway's population and further studying where Norway will reach a carrying capacity or rather continue to exponentially grow. So this is the data table of Norway in millions. We can see that from 1950 to 2010, the growth of Norway is not as extreme. It's about 1.5 million. So we'll see that a logistic growth model will model Norway's growth or population prediction better than an exponential growth model. And I'll explain later why this is possible. This is a graph. I know, <laughs> but this is a graph of the data that we just received of Norway, and it models a logistic growth model very well instead of a exponential growth model. An exponential growth model is like a hockey stick model where it just dramatically goes up like the world population did after the, about the 1700s. But Norway does not have that growth, and I'll explain in later slides why it doesn't have that growth. So this is the logistic growth model and the exponential growth model. It's labeled at the top, and I'll show you that there are two asymptotes on the logistic growth model. You can see at y equals c and y equals 0, there are asymptotes. And those tell you where the population reaches. And Norway's population it has a logistic growth model, which means that it will reach a carrying capacity, and it will reach it soon. And Exponential growth models are for countries in level 2 or level 3 of the demographic transition model. So, right now, we can predict that Norway is in a level 4 transition model because they are very advanced in their society. So, I, I believe that Norway is advancing, but they don't want to reach a zero population growth, which means that the births in Norway are the same as the deaths. So, they, they want to stay balanced and keep on continuously growing. Based off of the data provided by the United Nations World Population Database, a logistic regression was found and the growth rate for Norway was established. The logistic regression function for Norway, y equals 8.967 divided by 1 plus 1.776 AE to the power of negative 0.05 times 6x. So the graph of y equals c divided by 1 plus AE to the negative BX represents a logistic growth function. And what we can take away from this is that Norway's population is growing. I'm not going to tell you that it's not growing. But as N Norway's population grows, it's going to reach a carrying capacity, which means that it's going to reach uh, a population that it cannot go above as easily. So Basing that off of the equation, the growth rate of Norway is 0.0546%, which is much lower than the world's annual growth rate, which is 1.13%. If we were to put this in a comprehensible for people to read outside of the box, huh? outside of the box, right? Uh, we can take the function y equals 8.967 divided by 1 plus 1.7768e to the negative 0.0546x and plug it in to different problems for the future predictors and find out what the answer is. So if we plugged in 2020 to find out the population of Norway in 2020, we would get out 5.49 million. And then if we plugged in the doubling size, so the population right now is 4.89. If we doubled that, 9.78 million, and we plug that into the Y, we would find out that it would take Norway's population 159.1 years for the population to double in size. Norway, with its long coasting, coastline and first force, has transported itself from a fishing and lumbering country to an advanced westernized country. With this increase of new technology, foreign communications slash trade is vital for Norway's economy. Norway's competitiveness is hampered by a small population, a restrictive immigration policy, and an expensive social welfare system that 
places high tax burdens on the high on the population. Due to Norway's far northern location, the mountainous landscape, this country has the lowest population density in continental Europe, with only 11 people per square kilometer. Norway is located in Scandinavia, in the northern region of Europe. Temperatures in this part of the world can get down to 40 to 50 degrees below centigrade, affecting many people's desire to journey or embark to this region. Rather than viewing Norway as a desolate, icy, uninhabited terrain, look at the positives. The life, life expectancy in Norway is around 82 for both genders, which is 15 more than the average age in the United States. With less people, teachers are more abundant. The Nordic Intelligency provides a place for everyone, for all children and adults, with various talents and ability levels. With this increased attention towards each student, their test score is ranked in the top 10 in the whole world. Norway strives for economic, social, and gender equality. Norway can be best explained as transparent and well organized. Public and health services are very free in Norway, and the Norwegians enjoy a highly developed welfare system. Thank you and have a nice day. That's it.